Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I just have some project shares to share with you guys. So the first thing I wanted to share was a memory jacks that I made for a um, challenge and I absolutely love it. So if you guys have watched my um, one of my last Shein hauls, I ordered some sheet protectors that were like holographic and they also actually have like little um, stars so I've been playing around with it and I was able to do a shaker which I'll show with you, show you guys really quick and then I decided to turn one into a rosette and it turned out so cool so it's kind of clear and it's um it's actually pretty decent quality so I think it turned out cool and then um I also added some like a uh, thread it's like holographic thread too I did a pile of this underneath just to kind of give it um, some contrast it's kind of like a little sweet themed um, little memory decks here um, I added this little cotton candy here that I made I've had it in my stash quite some time so I finally was able to use it and then some of chipboard pieces that I had in my stash and ephemera and then I added these really cute little bead dangles here that I made and I um, have these beads these are from happy crafter shop so leave her information in the description box guys she has such cute stuff and definitely want to use my code and things sell quick there so you want to check out her shop if you're interested in anything you see so I think it turned out so so cute so that's my memory decks card and then I had gotten um, this like little mini star um, shaker die from Timu, so I was able to finally play with that. So um, I made two little like shaker charms, and I think they turned out so cute. I did use pink foam that I just um, had, I think maybe from Michaels, and I also used that holographic um, sheet protector, and it cut out fine with the die. And you can see it kind of gives that glimmer, shiny look. So I'm really excited to do other projects with it. It's just a little cheaper version than having to um, buy acetate. So, and it has that holographic effect. So I think it's so cute. And then um, I like this die too because you can either do the option with the, um, the loop or you can um, use the other piece that doesn't have it. But I just think this is cute to add as an extra dangle. So very nice. So I got that and then I made some rosettes using another die that I had. Oh, so I recently also hauled this die from Shein. So it makes a rosette. It did have another like extra heart here on the corner. I removed that because I wasn't going to use it. So you have to cut this out three times and this is what I did. So this is what the rosette, the rosette looks like. Um, I'm not a big fan of these hearts actually. I would probably just end up um, cutting them off. They're just very fragile um, so they want to like bend easy but it's a really cute die. And then I just used some tool and then layered up with some ephemera that I had in my stash. Then I also used more of Happy Crafters um, beads here. The bows also from her shop. And then also the cute little ladybug I think turned out so, so cute. These are buttons. So all you have to do is clip the back of them off. And I think it turned out adorable. So I did um, two rosettes. <clears throat> And then the paper I used was also from um, Decorate Your Life, the the plaid one that I shared I shared recently in my um, other project share. So and here's the other one here. I just love these striped beads. They're so so cute, so adorable. So and here's another little ladybug there. So yeah, I think they turned out cute. But like I said, um, I think these would be fine just cutting the hearts off as well. If that would bug you but very um cheap die for making a rosette and then the last um project that i wanted to share with you guys is using sandy's other paper pad that she sent me and this one is the cottage life this was actually the freebie one that she sent me so um i wanted to share with you guys what i ended up doing so i made like a little um flip book album type thing and this was using pink strawberries um, tutorial so um, I will leave her link down below to the tutorial that I followed and I think it turned out really cute again these these papers have really big um, patterns so 
I can't really do too much because I don't want to cover anything up. So I just added the word believe here, added some enamel dots, little gold heart there. And then I had put some trim here for the binding. I think I got this either gifted to me or from um, the Magical Mixery Store because I get a lot of my trims from there too. And I think this one was gifted to me. And then this is just like a scallop um, lace trim here. And then I added like this beads here or pearls. And they're like a cream color, so they kind of match the roofs of the house. And then here's the back. So I did just leave it alone. I left the big prints as is, just so it can be the um, focal point for that. <coughs> I am going to be gifting this for a challenge. And um, I know she's into this type of shabby chic stuff, so I figured... I wouldn't do too much and that she would be able to um, customize it herself when she receives it. So I had um, this also, this um, die or ephemera piece says, you are my home. And I thought it, it went well with the um, paper because I did not get any type of like ephemera to go along with this. So I had to improvise and pull things out of my stash to kind of go. Um, so in her tutorial, she has this flap here. Um, I did make two um, corner pockets, one here on the bottom. I just added this cute little bicycle die cut or ephemera. And then I did add a little top pocket there. And then I added um, two little ephemera pieces. I think this is like a journaling card here and then like a little pie. I'll just leave that in there. And then I just put this flower here so she can use that to flip it back and forth. It says make it count. Um, another sticker that I added there. And then on this side, it's like two pockets. <clears throat> so with some of the leftover papers, I just made um, two cards. So I just stuck that there. And then this one, I um, it's just a bunch of, I think it's two and a half by three pieces of paper that she can choose to do whatever she wants with it. It's just the scraps that I used from making this little book. And then I added those um, two hearts there. And then here is another like side pocket. I had this cute little bow here. And then here is another flower from the Happy Crafter Shop. And then um, I just made some tags and I just used some of this like really pretty eyelash trim because it, it's the pink and green and it matches. So I put some, two of the tags have the eyelash trim and then a couple other ones don't and then just some extra pieces of um, paper that I had in my stash. And then I did a bunch of um, like little ruffles that I um, sewed that she's just able to add them on to whatever project she wants and then on this side just one more pocket and then I had this big floral piece in my stash so I went ahead and just added that there and then here is some more extra strips of paper that she can use um, she can turn these into tags or whatever because I know she likes to do journals as well so I think she can get some use out of that and then um, I just put like this little sticker that says grow on there so um and if I forgot to mention who this is for, so this is for, um, craft and cake with Billy and she's hosting a challenge and all she's requesting is an embellishment box and then a crafter's choice. So this is my crafter's choice. And then I'm going to show you guys the embellishment box that I made her as well. So here is the embellishment box. Again, I used the same paper from the same collection and, um, I just added some of this um, gems here. I'm not sure where those came from. They possibly could have came from the Happy Crafter Shop, but I'm not 100% sure. And then um, I used some ruffled crepe paper trim that I had in my stash. So I just glued that down, had the gold leaves trim, put that around through the center, had this little wooden piece that says lucky to be friends. And then I had to use the little watering cans that I got from Happy Crafter Shop. And then the center of these cans are all white. So you can actually customize them to whatever theme you're going for. So this was blue. So I went ahead and added a blue little um, center to them. And this is using the pearl drops from, um, what is it? Little birdies. 
um yeah so this is what i used here i have a bunch of these one time they had a big old clearance on them so i ordered all the colors and i really like them and then i just added some more little drops there and i think it turned out so cute so i'm going to um leave this shut so she will be surprised but um yeah i'll leave um billy's challenge link in my description box along with happy crafters information and along with Sa uh, sandy's information so you guys can go um check them out if you're not familiar and thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next one take care bye